Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. Sorry I said Odyssey last time. It happens. There's a Jillian quest here. And I kind of want to do them, but I also kind of just want to focus on the main mission right now. So, that's what I'll be doing. And I'm saving up for this one. Come on. What all did we get? We have the orb. No! I don't want it. What's in my inventory that is brand spanking new? Oh, here. Oh, hey, I almost have all the uh, papyri, it looks like. In need out. I've only done a couple of those. But I did read it. The, the, the next main quest is the last of the Midjay. We return to the den and meets Aya along with her new Roman allies. We're allying with the Romans now. Fascinating. Fascinating. Where are we going? Oh, I guess I haven't selected it, huh? Last of the Magi. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I was like, if this is in the middle of somewhere, I was like, it better be back. I'm like, Alexandra is where we were, like, meeting up before. Although I guess I could... See... I don't know if Aya's cousin has any more missions for me. He's over here. So, he was in the amphitheater. I would assume they would be, maybe that one, maybe Cat's Cradle? I don't know. That's okay, I'm focusing. All right. So, I went out and tracked Flavius down, and now I've killed Flavius, and I need to tell Aya this, that I've killed Flavius. The only person left on my little tree of people I have to murder is Septimius. Which I technically killed, and I'm a little miffed, I'm a little miffed that he didn't die. Like, that was some plot armor if I've ever seen any. Come on. I, I know, where is it? I don't even, I don't even know where my hideout is. I thought it was right on the street. Oh! Wait, is it... What? This is our new hideout? Okay. And then I thought it was maybe that one that I met her at first, where, like, there's that, like, gazebo thing, and you jump down into the center of it. This was not that. I do kind of wish they wouldn't give spoilers in the quest descriptions. Bayek. It's been too long. Flavius is dead. I have gone to shit to get our son out of the Duat. Him was at peace. May he walk in the field of reeds. I head to Rome to... Rome? You still entertain folly with these ambitions? I have made mistakes. You have made mistakes. Aya? You waste your energy. Ah, you are the famous Magi. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. I have assembled a group. This is Brutus and Cassius, our Roman brothers. We're going to cut these bastards down from across the seas. Oh, Septimius, you lived. And Caesar. The order is no longer an Egyptian problem only. Does Cleopatra still rule? There is no ruler in Egypt. Plunged into the will of various tyrants. Our queen has abandoned us for Rome. Nothing has changed here. Memphis is overrun by the Order. Aya, we need you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Bayek was kind of hoping things would... I don't know. I don't know, though. Bayek was the one who was like, brotherhood, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was the one who was like, we are a brotherhood now. We need to start a rebellion. I, uh, Speak! That cursed mud sphere should stay hidden forever. Cause so much pain. Speak to Aya one last time. What do you mean, game? <sighs> I wait. I maybe should have looked around in there, but that was like my heart hurts. What the heck? What do you mean? Oh, poor Bayek. I don't think it will ever be the same, Bayek. See, I could go back in if I wanted to. It's not marked on the map, though. <laughs> oh, boy. That was the guy who was the captain of the ship that we were on when we got Cleopatra out. A, really? Oh. A birth trireme. Like, a birth ship. You know what I mean? Dry dock, I guess. Where... Where is she? Way out here? Why? Why? This is actually really painful. What the heck? Bayek was the one... This, there was a little bit... I don't know if it's just... I don't know if it's just me or what, but there's like a tiny bit of like incongruity with what Bayek says and does sometimes. Oh, like, he's like, he didn't ever want to be part of any sort of rebellion, really. He was just in it to get his son. And then, or like, to free his son, which is a huge thing. Like, now he tells Aya, you know, I've freed our son, essentially. He can walk in the field of reeds. And then, I mean, and she's happy about that, but he was the one earlier who was telling the little group that they were a brotherhood now and needed to, you know, rebel and fight for the people. And now he's like, no, I uh, don't do it. I just wanted to be me and you again. Like, I don't know. I'll be so mad. What do you mean for the last time? No! You better just be making it sound ominous, game. Oh my gosh, she's sitting on the little beach and she's gonna get on that boat. She's gonna leave me. Aya! Oh, beautiful. Nice. We've fast forwarded a bit. Our victories have multiplied, our bond not so. We could never have been. <gasps> Everything has told us our love is impossible. What? You are right. Something bigger has called us. But our love lives in the Duat. Only now we are letting go. Let the gods decide. The gods are dead. What? You guys can't break up? What the heck? We must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. All this darkness was for a reason. I was wrong to be so reckless in public without killing. We must work in the shadows. Egypt has fallen. Greece also. And Rome will fall too. All will fall to the creed, yet no one will know. Okay, yeah. When we assassinate. We assassinate only those who deserve it. The few sick souls who try to control us. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kin. What? I am fine with this. What? I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Medjay. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades. Pull what hope is left from this foul earth. Old Bayek of Siwa. What are you 
you off now. A new creed. Ours is finished. Oh, come on. intentional from the start that it looks like what happens when you when like a a, a bird skull stop like it's the ground you know like the impression it leaves did you see Aya wipe away tears no I wanted them to be I mean maybe you know what maybe it's it makes sense like they've been through so much and gone through so much darkness and you want to hope that they can stay together, but... But they can't. They've both seen too much. Those don't need to be your to you. last words. Who the fuck are you? Does the name William Miles ring a bell? Assassin? What? Then you know who I am. I don't we, actually know who you are. The assassins <laughs> have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alex. Manipulator! Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. He's trying so hard to recruit her. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough. No, you can't. No, but, but, yeah. Were they even, like, were they buried together? They were buried together, right? They were, because she fell over. So, the best way to avoid this jerk is to get back in the animals. So, I mean... Aya was down there. Unfortunately, she fell, but they were buried together, I think, which is which is nice. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Interesting, though. That is the start. I thought I thought for some reason that the brotherhood started in Greece, not Egypt. Um, but I must have misread something somewhere. But dang, I actually got really teary-eyed there. Like, I really loved their relationship a lot, but it does make a sort of terrible... What are we waiting for then? Shut up. It does make a sort of a terrible sense. Helicopter. It'll be here in an hour. Oh, okay. Go back to the Animus if you like. I know its charms are incoming. Okay. Nothing else to do? Something's beeping at me. I don't know what it is. I don't care. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know why she'd want to go back into the Animus with some stranger hanging out around, but, you know, whatever. But we got things to do. But, no, like, I, like you want to hope, you want to think that after all that they could be like this assassin couple, but I think they've both, they, they've gone their separate ways. I don't know, you can go your separate ways and still be, and they are still in love, but like, there's just always something getting in between them. And they can't actually be together. Is that for Foxidas? A gift? No. It's a relic. I don't want to talk about it, Damastis. Isn't that Bayek's? 
Let me have it. I'll give it to Foxy does myself. He loves these things. Yeah. I'll kill you. How about that? I'm in no mood for compromise today. Well, what did you think, guy? You, like, stole something from an assassin woman. We passed Neopolis in the crack of morning. With strong wind, you'll be standing in Rome's forum in... Uh, two days' time. It's over between you and Bayek, eh? I can feel... No decision is easy. But you are a chosen one. And now you are free! <laughs> like me! No good. So begins a new day. guys are our allies. He built up his fleet again, I guess. Speed up! Oh my gosh. I was not expect- I mean, I know Pyek says, like, you know, Egypt will fall, and Cleopatra is the last. Roman fleet Cleopatra is the last pharaoh. Do you see? Don't drop your guard entirely. We should assume they are expecting us. You sound thrilled about it. Eager, old man. Eager to be done with this scum. And move on to the next pile of scum. Infinite scum. Such is the world we live in. But maybe it's something where it's like when you're part of a cause that's so much bigger than yourself. Like, again, like they were saying, I guess, like you have to sacrifice your personal life. Like, basically, you have to sacrifice everything to be a part of a cause so massive so all-encompassing that you can't we have been spotted. be in love. Those flares will summon their navy. Prepare yourselves! Like, you can be in love, but you can't, there's like nothing you can do. Wow, please. Here they come. Oh, wow. Forward men, litter the sea with their shattered hulls. Oops, Let's 
Ship isn't really a fleet. They said fighter ships upon us. What gods? Do those like blow up? Our fleet is too tightly formed. They'll hit us. We are overwhelmed. These hell ships are too many. We must sink them before they reach us. Oh, they'll doom us if they strike us. Take them down. I don't like they don't there's not enough catapults. They don't reload fast enough. Okay, so we just gotta kinda like hit them a little bit. More fire ships close! By the gods! They're everywhere! Oh shoot! Actual ships. I'm not trying to attack my allied ship. I'm trying to get out of range. Right behind me. Up tempo. Fire shift behind. Yeah, I see them. More speed, settle. Don't do harder. Speed up. Speed up. Fire shift behind. How are they like going that fast? Are they like actually being controlled or what? Okay, 
Okay, I need to go faster. This is stressful. Why can't I target this one? I'll just target that one. Give some hell of a spam! You can, you know, attack independently of me. Okay, we did. And our Roman allies came to help us. So apparently, that was what happened there. Let it rain! Turn you demons into the sea! Hey, you slackers! Form up with the rest! Today, we sail together! What port are you taking us to? There is a town called Antium I'd like to try. Lots of merchants sail in and out of there. Should be safe for you. From there, it's a half day's ride to Rome. We're also, like, still, like, Vyag and Aya are part, like, they created the Brotherhood, essentially, together. So they have to work together and, like, be in love still. And I guess just hope for the when the day they die, which is why they're buried together. When they die. That they'll be together in the field of reeds. But for now, for now, they can't be together. They're, they, they're too, I think, I think it happens, I think it happens in like the real world and stuff too, you know, where it's it like. It is only a matter of days before Caesar will officially become a tyrant. There he is. The people love you, Caesar. You're a god. Oh, we're gonna kill The Senate will not bow to you. <gasps> a parliament of clucking hands. Let me be your wolf. He's huge. Go. Do nothing until I get this. Brutus! I didn't even think about it when they said it! Oh my gosh! Brutus is gonna kill Caesar! Oh my gosh! Yeah, good luck with that. I thought we were supposed to be assassinating in the shadows, not in a cult, not in a, like a big, you know. Oh man! So Aya's gonna be the one to take down Septimius. <gasps> it's been modified! So Caesar is the king of the order now. Caesar is the father of understanding. I did not actually expect Caesar would die. that. I'm not gonna lie. meddling with the affairs of the order. The order is greater than Rome. Go back to Egypt with the rest of the liars and slaves. Huh. You make me understand why murder is just. I command armies. I control greatness. I will erase your order from the annals. Kneel to Caesar. Kneel to Rome. No, no. Feels oh, good crap. Society. No, get out of the corner. We are the writers of history. You're not Caesar wrong. Caesar will follow you to oblivion. Your son pissed himself when he saw the knife. I will feed your heart to vultures. Why not? You I... have no honor. Why am I fighting Septimius? I am a Gabignani. Why am I fighting the team you with Gaia when I don't know? You should have taken your chance to drop off the map. I... Flavius isn't here to save you this time, said Julius. No Roman deals will be made. I 
<laughs> Why am I fighting like the hardest boss with Aya, who I ha whom I have not leveled up? I guess. I don't know. I see, I can't get close to him when he's doing that. him means I can't get farther away from him. This is really annoying. I just like have to wait for my bar to fill up. I ran out of arrows. Unless there's like something I can refill my arrows with. And I can't get out. What an odd fight. him to like come in close and like give me a second. die is gonna suck it's so close I'm so close I'm so close no 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 this feels like Dragon Age 2 when you're fighting the air shock supposed to be doing but this is so dumb <laughs> I had no oh my gosh come on come on come on come on come on this is so dumb he's just running around with his like whirly blades I can't get in close to him. I have no other weapon options. I have, I don't have my leveled up bow that has like a bazillion 
arrows. You know? I only had like 40 total. Fighting one of the hardest bosses in the game. With, uh, with nothing. I mean, Aya's weapons are powerful, but... She also doesn't have any range. Okay. My son's heart. For your life. Was revenge everything you hoped? You and the Medjai shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff. With the order. I served them and your beloved Egypt. And I'll be rewarded in the afterlife. An eternity. Drinking and whoring with my brothers. The only thing that waits for you is oblivion. For your name, your order, and the rotten corpses of your Gabignani. Ooh, nice. Up and devour your fetid heart. Curia, with the rest of the Senate. Wow, she looks really, really good. Like, like usually I'm playing Bayek, but like Aya looks really good. She's rendered really well. Whoop! Was this open the whole time? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Um, this way. Should I be sneaky? I don't know. I never thought Aya was super public with her executions. By the way. Not that I can remember. I guess I didn't play as her very often. This place is crawling with soldiers. Yeah, well, why can't I? Why don't. Aya doesn't have a birdie! How am I supposed to be. <laughs> this is like being a true assassin. Aya is hard mode. I wonder if there's ever a mode where you could play as Aya. I'm trying to kind of get around, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Like, I was going to try to go see if I could walk up onto that. There's so many. Okay. I don't know if there's any below me, but we'll find out. Okay, all I have to do is get over there. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call it here. I didn't realize how long it had been. Um, but, wow, that was... Now I kind of wish I hadn't done it. I don't know how I'm gonna go back and play Bayek when knowing that his heart's been ripped out, you know? Which is not... I mean, like, at least it's not actually physically, right? Because, uh... Because that would be bad if you're Egyptian, <laughs> again, like we've seen it multiple times now. Um, but, yeah. Like, I feel like there's got to be something to that where it feels like your heart's been ripped out. And, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe there'll be a happy ending? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. But it's like, it's like once all this is done, and that's what Bayek kept saying. He's like, once all this is done, we'll be together again. But it's never done. It's never done. They're good people. And so they see the suffering wrought on everybody by these few people in power. I didn't even think about Julius Caesar being part of the order, to be honest. It's so hard because, and that's kind of the point, is that like sometimes the people in the order, they start out actually wanting good things for people. But they, in the end, they're corrupted by that by what would happen if they were given like anybody you know true power always corrupts you know 
and like you keep striving for power you keep striving and like you get it more and more and it just like feeds the beast you know so i don't know but even then like caesar may you, you could not you, you could have said he wasn't a good person but it's like yeah he's he was trying to be a tyrant in a lot of ways which a greek tyrant is actually different from like the way we use the word now but i think they mean the current usage of the word tyrant but so the thing is, is Caesar has to die, and then Mark Antony has to show up, and Cleopatra is then gonna fall in love or use, or it may, whatever the case may be, she's gonna use Mark Antony. And so Egypt hasn't fallen completely yet, but from the perspective of the people, it looks like Cleopatra has given a lot to Rome. But she may have done that. I think historically she did that in a way to keep Egypt alive as best she could, you know? So, I don't know. Who knows? Cleopatra never wrote down what she thought of everything. So, at least as far as I'm aware. But, anyway, this was a pretty heart, heart wrenching heart-wrenching thing to go through for everybody for me for bike for aya and i hope i i do hope they can get a happy ending and i hope when they i don't know if nothing else i hope they can be together in the field of reeds because i'm attached to them dang it i really liked i really liked their dynamic a lot and i i do understand why they did what they had to do like they've been they've been subsumed basically by this brotherhood by this by this creed they've created and, and they have to sacrifice everything of themselves to no longer be people, essentially, but to be, like, tools of the people. And that means, that, that does mean sacrificing a lot. So, including one's own happiness. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.